Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve one numerical problem on three phase medium length transmission line. By solving this problem we shall learn how to determine ABCD constants of a three phase medium length transmission line based on its nominal pi equivalent circuit. We shall also learn how to calculate percentage voltage regulation and efficiency of transmission of this line using those constants. A three phase 50 hertz 200 km long overhead transmission line has resistance equals to 0 0.16 ohm per kilometer and conductor diameter 2 centimeters with spacings 4 meters 5 meters and 6 meters transposed. Using nominal pi equivalent circuit, we have to calculate the ABCD constants, the sending end voltage, current, power factor and input power. We also have to determine the efficiency of transmission and the percentage voltage regulation when the line is delivering full load of 50 megawatts at 132 kilovolts and 0 0.8 power factor lagging. Let us first write down the given data. Power delivered to the load PL equals to 50 megawatts that is equal to 50 into 10 to the power 6 watts. Line to line receiving end voltage VR line equals to 132 kilo volts. That is equal to 132 into 10 to the power 3 volts. For star connected system, receiving end voltage per phase VR equals to VR line divided by root 3. That is equal to 132 into 10 to the power 3 divided by root 3. That gives us 76,210 volts. Given load power factor cos phi L equals to 0 0.8 lagging. Let us now calculate power factor angle. Phi L equals to cos inverse 0 0.8. That is equal to 36.8699 degree. We know that Power delivered to the load PL equals to root 3 times VR line into IL cos phi L. Therefore, load current IL equals to PL divided by root 3 times VR line into cos phi L. Using values we get 50 into 10 to the power 6 divided by root 3 into 132 into 10 to the power 3 into 0 0.8 that gives us 273.37 ampere. Load current may be written in polar form as IL equals to IL at an angle minus phi L that is equal to 273.37 ampere at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. Here load current IL equals to receiving end current IR. Given length of the transmission line D equals to 200 kilometers. Diameter of the conductor D1 equals to 2 centimeters. Now we shall calculate radius of the conductor R equals to D1 upon 2. That is equal to 2 divided by 2. That gives us 1 centimeter. Given spacing between the conductors. D1 2 equals to 4 meters. D2 3 equals to 5 meters. And D3 1 equals to 6 meters. Let us now calculate equivalent equilateral spacing between the conductors. DQ equals to D12 into D23 into D31 to the power 1 third. That is equal to 4 into 5 into 6 to the power 1 third. That gives us 4.9324 meter. 
or 493.24 centimeter. Expression for inductance per kilometer per phase L1 equals to 0 0.05 plus 0 0.2 into log of DEQ upon R milli Henry using values we get 0 0.05 plus 0 0.2 into log of 493.24 upon 1 milli Henry that gives us 1.29 milli Henry. Let us now calculate inductance per phase L equals to L1 into D using values we get 1.29 into 200 that is equal to 258 milli Henry or 0 0.258 Henry. Expression for capacitance per kilometer per phase C1 equals to 1 upon 18 into log of DEQ upon R microfarad using values we get 1 upon 18 into log of 493.24 upon 1 microfarad that gives us 0 0.00896 microfarad. Let us now calculate capacitance per phase C equals to C1 into D using values we get 0 0.00896 into 200 that gives us 1.792 microfarad or 1.792 into 10 to the power minus 6 farad. Given resistance per kilometer per phase R1 equals to 0 0.16 ohm. Let us now calculate resistance per phase. R equals to R1 times D that is equal to 0 0.16 into 200 that gives us 32 ohm. We have computed inductance per phase L equals to 0 0.258 Henry and capacitance per phase C equals to 1.792 into 10 to the power minus 6 farad. Let us now calculate Inductive reactance per phase XL equals to 2 pi F into L given supply frequency F equals to 50 Hz. Therefore, XL equals to 2 pi into 50 into 0 0.258 that is equal to 81 ohm. And capacitive susceptance per phase Bc equals to 2 pi F into C using values we get 2 pi into 50 into 1.792 into 10 to the power minus 6 that gives us 562.9734 into 10 to the power minus 6 more. Series impedance per phase of the transmission line Z equals to R plus J XL. That is equal to 32 plus J times 81 ohm. This may be written in polar form as 87.092 ohm at an angle 68.443 degree. Shunt admittance per phase Y equals to J times BC. That is equal to 0 plus J times 562.9734 into 10 to the power minus 6 more. This may be written in polar form as 562.9734 into 10 to the power minus 6 more at an angle 90 degree. We have obtained series impedance per phase of the transmission line Z equals to 87.092 ohm at an angle 68.443 degree and shunt admittance per phase y equals to 562.9734 into 10 to the power minus 6 more at an angle 90 degree. Let us now calculate y into z using values we get 562.9734 into 10 to the power minus 6 at an angle 90 degree into 87.092 
at an angle 68.443 degree that gives us 0 0.049 at an angle 158.443 degree. This may be written in Cartesian form as minus 0 0.0456 plus j times 0 0.018. Now we shall calculate 1 plus 1 fourth of y into z that is equal to 0 0.9886 plus j times 0 0.0045. This may be written in polar form as 0 0.98861 at an angle 0 0.2608 degree. For pi equivalent circuit, A equals to D equals to 1 plus half of Y into Z. That is equal to 0 0.9772 plus J times 0 0.009. This may be written in polar form as 0 0.9772 at an angle 0 0.5277 degree. B equals to Z. That is equal to 87.092 ohm at an angle 68.443 degree. C equals to Y into 1 plus 1 fourth of Y into Z. Using values we get 562.9734 into 10 to the power minus 6 at an angle 90 degree into 0 0.98861 at an angle 0 0.2608 degree that gives us 556.6 into 10 to the power minus 6 more at an angle 90.2608 degree. Taking receiving and voltage per phase as reference we can write VR equals to 76,000 210 volts at an angle 0 degree. We have computed receiving end current IR equals to 273.37 ampere at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. For pi equivalent circuit, we have obtained A equals to D equals to 0 0.9772 at an angle 0 0.5277 degree. B equals to 87.092 ohm at an angle 68.443 degree. And C equals to 556.6 into 10 to the power minus 6 more at an angle 90.2608 degree. Now we shall compute Sending and voltage per phase. Vs equals to A times Vr plus B times Ir. Using values we get 0 0.9772 at an angle 0 0.5277 degree into 76,210 at an angle 0 degree plus 87.092 at an angle 68.443 degree into 273.37 at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. That gives us 94,753.312 plus J times 13,151.602 volt. This may be written in polar form as 95,000 661.668 volt at an angle 7.902 degree. Now we shall calculate sending and current per phase. Is equals to C times Vr plus D times Ir. Using values we get 556.6 into 10 to the power minus 6 at an angle 90.2608 degree into 76,210 at an angle 0 degree plus 0 0.9772 at an angle 0 0.5277 degree into 273.37 at an angle minus 36.8699 degree.
that gives us 214.98376 minus J times 115.8892 ampere. This may be written in polar form as 244.23 ampere at an angle minus 28.3273 degree. On no load, receiving end current IR equals to 0. Therefore, no load receiving end voltage per phase VRO equals to Vs divided by A. Using values we get 95661.668 at an angle 7.902 degree divided by 0 0.9772 at an angle 0 0.5277 degree. That gives us 97893.643 volt at an angle 7.3743 degree. Let us now calculate voltage regulation that is equal to VRO minus VR divided by VR. Using values we get 97893.643 minus 76210 divided by 76210 that gives us 0 0.2845 per unit or 28.45 percent. We have obtained sending and voltage per phase Vs equals to Vs at an angle delta equals to 95661.668 volt at an angle 7.902 degree and sending and current Is equals to Is at an angle minus phi 1 equals to 244.23 ampere at an angle minus 28.3273 degree. For star connected system line to line sending and voltage Vs line equals to root 3 times Vs that is equal to root 3 into 95661.668 which is approximately equal to 165.7 into 10 to the power 3 volts or 165.7 kilo volt. Phase difference between Vs and Is, phi s equals to delta plus phi 1. Using values we get 7.902 degree plus 28.3273 degree that gives us 36.8. 2293 degree. Let us now calculate sending and power factor. Cos phi s equals to cos of 36.2293 degree that gives us 0 0.8067 lagging. Now we shall calculate sending and input power. P s equals to 3 times V s into I s cos phi s. Using values we get 3 into 95661.668 into 244.23 into 0 0.8067 that is equal to 56.542 into 10 to the power 6 watts or 56.542 megawatt. Now we shall calculate Efficiency of transmission, eta t equals to PL divided by PS. Given power delivered to the load, PL equals to 50 megawatts. Therefore, eta t equals to 50 divided by 56.542 that gives us 0 0.8843 per unit or 88.43%. So today we have solved one numerical problem on three phase medium length transmission line. By solving this problem we have learnt how to determine ABCD constants of a three phase medium length transmission line based on its nominal pi equivalent circuit.
we have also learned how to compute percentage voltage regulation and efficiency of transmission of this line using those constants. Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any suggestion or question, please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.